Hey everybody, what up? All right, so I feel like over the last several months, I've been in somewhat of like a stagnant AI state. It's hard to explain, but like basically, I spent a little bit of time in the month of August and I, I actually did like this uh, VS Code clone. I was like, what would it take to actually do what like Cursor is doing or Cloud Code? And the main reason why I do these things, and I've done this throughout my entire career, is if I want to actually stay up to date and understand what's going on around me, I have to build projects and try to use the technology. It's, it's the best way that I know how to learn. And I'm always like trying to tinker with something new because otherwise I'll just burn myself out like I've done throughout my career. Like web development gets old, dude. Like if you're doing React and JavaScript, HTML servers, even if, if it's AWS or Azure, I mean, this stuff gets old after a while. So I got to keep it fresh. And, um, and for that reason, like I went ahead and I, I spent some time like creating this clone and um, and what I discovered over the, a period of time was that the way like uh, cursor works and all this is like it's just a tremendous rag layer on top of a hallucinating LLM. Uh, that is what agentic AI is, and that's actually the future of what we're going into. So I heard the Fed chair uh, giving a talk today, and uh, basically people are asking him about like what is the state of the job market and all this, and like. The fact of the matter is, is like it's a mess, right? But we don't really know why it's a mess. Is it a mess because of corporate greed? Is it a mess because of tariffs and uncertain economic uh, policy, basically decisions made by uh, the current administration in charge? Is it completely just, you know, offshoring? Is it AI? Like, wh what is it? Is it overhiring from COVID? We've heard all these different excuses, and and really, like nobody really knows what the future is going to hold in regards to like are we all going to lose our jobs? That's what everybody's worried about. Um, and the Fed chair was like, you know, I, we make a policy, we make policies for uh, economic conditions, whether it's like inflation or, you know, the job market and, and things like that. But he's like, overall, like breaking architectural changes within like our society is not something that, that they are responsible for. That's where it would take, um, you know, executive policy basically to try to figure out what we do with humanity. So you've actually heard lately that like uh, some of the, the CEOs are now saying like NVIDIA CEO and uh, Bill Gates talking about that we're about to have a uh, three and four day work week, which would be nice. Um, but but here's the thing I, I, I've discovered, though, is that I've actually personally taking it, taken a step back from AI because what I've found is that this AI, whether it's Claude Opus, which is the best thing out there probably that I've seen, uh, or it's whatever you might be using, ChatGPT5, uh, they are hallucinating all the time, and they also write shitty code. So it writes an impossible amount of code um, that literally, like, I don't think one person can really go through. So you're spending more time reviewing all the slop code that it's writing versus really writing it yourself. And at the same time, your skills are somewhat atrophying. Um, so I find though that I'm getting better, I think at code reviews, cause it's forcing me to, but it's also relatively exhausting. Like I said, I think I equated to like a, a drunk junior programmer. That's like sometimes doing well, but other times it's like, yeah, they're just, they're just drunk and doing crazy things, shooting their guns in the air. So when I had to, um, I, you know, basically I was like, you know what, this little side project I was like showing you that I was working on, I'm like, that's how this works. I understand how agentic AI works. I do think agentic AI is going to disrupt quite a bit of jobs out there. As I've said years ago, I think one of the last jobs to actually go in this field are going to be the true programmers, the people that do know uh, programming syntax, logical constructs, data, uh, data structures. Those are going to be the people that, and especially the people that have uh, what we consider are going to be considered in the future, uh, a lower level knowledge of of what we're dealing with day to day. So when I say something like that, I'm talking about like, you know, assembly to C and then C to, to object oriented programming with like C++ and C sharp, right? Uh, some of us C sharp developers and, and object oriented developers look at like C people and they seem like wizards, but and in and, and certain ways, like, you know, Unix was created in what, like 15 days or something like that. So we, we consider those people geniuses, but shit was way, way, way easier to deal with back in the day. You just couldn't do as much. So now we have massive abstraction layers on top of abstraction layers. And then now we have a slop layer of AI that's over top of all of that stuff. 
And the people that are going to know how to figure that shit out are going to be worth quite a bit of money in the future. And that's actually where I think we're headed uh, as a society. So, yes, uh, the AI, uh, the AI has gotten better, I think, and to some degree. Um, but honestly, I don't I'm not 100 percent convinced that we're like in a better world because of these tools. It, you have to babysit them or they're going to go off of the rails and it's going to be dangerous to have a bunch of coders that don't know how to do anything but but prompt an LLM. And I think we're already there. So as I said before, um, I'll probably like the code sloppy. I don't want to put out a bunch of sloppy code on my public GitHub, but I will open source uh, this little um, demonstration that I'm providing here. So if anybody wants to take it and run with it, by all means, go ahead. What I discovered, though, is that Cursor and all these companies in this race to create the next AI IDE, I think is a big fat waste of money. I think Cursor is not going to be around for very long. I personally canceled my account with them. And I think that this race to become the best IDE AI tool or whatever is is a sloppy ass short term game. Um, so we have to find a better way of doing things because obviously one of the things I've talked about is the prices have gone through the roof. Nobody can afford to pay for this stuff. I don't know if you've noticed now, but cursor even on like commercial accounts are now like they're starting to throttle people. They certainly throttled individual users. You have companies like uh, windsurf that were getting, they were fighting with uh, Anthropic and not allowed to use Claude and in, inside of their product. And then eventually they worked that out and they try to do bring your own key. So everybody tries to do bring your own key as if that's going to be something uh, unique and a game changer. And it's really not. So the bottom line is that whatever tools that you're going to write around these LLMs to write code, you have to have a ton of checks and balances in place for when this thing hallucinates and goes off the rail because uh, it will, and it always does. And the larger, more complicated project you have, the sloppier shit that it writes, uh, and you eventually just go down this rabbit hole of, of disaster. And what I love to see is that you're now seeing all types of articles, whether it's on like Hacker News or Reddit uh, or just anywhere on blogs and stuff about how this thing is writing terrible, terrible code. And we're now living in this reality. And I said it years ago, like, this is going to be another tool for your tool belt of being a developer. And I still think that is going to be the case. Like this is a tool that I want to continue using because I can get it to spin up a bunch of boilerplate when I need it to. Uh, but this thing actually doing my job is, is something that I don't think we're anywhere close to. And uh, the more I rely on it to actually try to just run with some sort of requirement, the more I pay for it in the end. And the bottom line, like I said, is that I just simply – have decided to pull back a little bit from these tools that I'm using and go back to the fundamentals a little bit more. Uh, and when I do use them, I'm very, very specific about what I need them to do. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check out my game. I have a release date now. It's going to be January 8th, 2026. My VR version is pretty much done. I've actually ported it over to PC too, so it's going to be for both PC and PC VR. Uh, sadly, it's not going to work on a standalone headset. It would melt your phone, uh, which is really just what an Oculus device is. Uh, but all that said, um, I now have the release date. Check out the trailer. All right, thanks for watching. Everybody have a good day. Bye.